Meghan Markle's hypocritical approach to royal life is the reason why she is more disliked than Princess Diana. Princess Diana passed away in 1997 and left behind a huge legacy in the British royal family. As a result, her son's wives have often been compared to her, with Meghan, Duchess of Sussex reportedly having many striking similarities to the late Princess of Wales. However, while Diana was well liked by the public, Meghan has received significantly less sympathy from people. A critic believes that this is because of Meghan's different, more hypocritical approach to royal life compared to Diana. Both Meghan Markle and Princess Diana had trouble adapting to royal life. Meghan seems to be similar to Diana in that she is a free spirit who does not always abide by rules and traditions. Both women seem to have trouble following strict protocols set by the royal family. For example, Diana rebelled against her in-laws in several ways, including raising her sons in a more normal fashion and speaking to the press on her own terms. Diana also revealed in Andrew Morton's book Diana, her true story, in her own words that she was seen as a problem to the rest of the royal family. Meanwhile, Meghan reportedly felt silenced by the palace. Before joining the royal family, she was an actor who often spoke out for herself on social media and her own blog. However, the royal family has a tradition to never complain, never explain, which forced Meghan to endure negative press silently. A critic thinks Meghan Markle's approach to royal life makes her more disliked than Princess Diana. While the public admires and sympathizes with Diana for being a black sheep in the royal family, many people have not extended the same compassion to Meghan. A critic thinks it could come down to how the two women approached royal life. Wright Maureen Callahan noted that, Although Diana struggled in the royal family, she worked hard in her role for over a decade. In Diana, her true story, she spoke of her dawning realization that she had been plucked as future queen only because she was a 19-year-old virgin and that her husband was in love with someone else, Callahan wrote for the New York Post. Yet Diana still performed her royal duties admirably. She produced the air in the spare. She injected glamour heart and modernity into a fading institution. She did real humanitarian work. Meghan, on the other hand, was welcomed into a more modern royal family and left her position. After less than two years, Callahan said, Meghan had been on the job less than two years, had been given almost everything she asked for. Her major gripe was that the royal family wouldn't let her say and do whatever she wanted, even though that isn't a well-established deal. Royals are funded by the British taxpayers and in return, they perform modest and predictable duties. Callahan also called Meghan a hypocrite for her behavior after her departure from the royal family in early 2020. Although Meghan and Prince Harry claim to want privacy, the couple has continued to invite press attention into their lives. Callahan cited the biography Finding Freedom as evidence of this because many people believe Meghan and Harry provided the authors with information for the book.